Hi Pokemon trainers and welcome back to Pokemon. Today I'm going to be doing another Pokemon smash up video. and I'm going to be smashing together some Pokemon with Snorlax. So let's see what fusions we can make with this Pokemon. Here we go. Well starting off we got Trap Pinch. It looks like Snorlax's tummy is going to be doing the majority of the eating instead of his face. But we move on to Meowth where this pussycat has had way too much milk. We go on to Blastodon, where I guess he lived a very lazy life in his past, because after being restored from the fossil, he just weighs a few more pounds than the others. But if you fuse Snorlax with Flygon, at least he gets some exercise. It doesn't change his weight, though. He's still fat. But, when you combine Snorlax with Delibird, you get a Pokemon that's known for raiding refrigerators and eating everything. And what it can't eat, it puts in its sack for later. This is one fat Pokemon that will give Snorlax a run for its money. But, Emporion with Snorlax? It just reminds me of that old Club Penguin game. Literally, it looks exactly like those characters. But... With Arcanine, it looks like this puppy has lived the good life with Officer Jenny to the point where it's um, able to be rolled. I don't think Sandile is fat after being fused, though. I think it's swelled up. Most likely something hit it in its stomach because that just doesn't look right to me. Okay, now Toki Kiss. I don't know if you could fly in the first place, but I know there's no way you can fly now, so sorry to say it, but you're grounded. Now, combining Meltank with Snorlax, you get something that's actually quite adorable. I think I would buy a Pokemon plushie if it looked like this. But, on to Arceus, the god of all Pokemon. But being god, that does not make you invulnerable to your own laziness, as this Pokemon has learned the hard way. Okay, with Spirit Tomb, I found this design incredibly amusing, considering a Pokemon flute is the only thing that can wake up a Snorlax besides its own hunger. So, having a spirit of a Snorlax resting within a Pokemon flute was cute to me. But now, time for a fusion between Snorlax and Malmoswine. I actually think this could be a great past paradox form, for a future update of Scarlet and Violet. Well, on to a fusion with Shuckle. Um, yeah, this is a disturbing Pokemon, and I'm hoping those are tentacles coming out of his shell. Well, time to fuse it with Doug Trio, and, well, it looks like Doug Trio fled underground before Snorlax could be properly smashed together with him. Well, there are plenty more fusions I could go over with Snorlax, but most of them revolve around Pokemon being way too fat for even me to describe. And trust me, I could describe a lot. But with that, it's the end of the episode. If you enjoyed it, please like and subscribe, and I'll catch you all next time. Thank you for watching, and keep on catching Pokemon trainers.